Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we have something special for you. This is the MSI Z790 Project Zero motherboard. The MSI Z790 Project Zero is one of the most unique motherboards available on the market today. It features all the power connectors and pin headers on the reverse side of the motherboard. And this provides a much cleaner and neater look and allows you to fully display your motherboard, the liquid cooler and the graphics card in all its grandeur. It utilizes the Z790 chipset and is compatible with all the latest Intel 14th gen, 13th gen and 12th gen processors on the LGA1700 socket. It also comes with a 14 plus 1 plus 1 duet power rail system for maximum performance and stability. There are four DDR5 DIMM slots supporting memory speeds of up to DDR5 7200OC. Expansion slots include one PCIe 5x16 slot for your next-gen graphics card, one PCIe 4x1 slot, and two PCIe 3x16 slot. For storage, you get six SATA ports and four PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slots for your SSDs. You also get 16 USB ports, seven external and nine internal, and you get one USB 3.2 Gen 2x2 Type-C at 20 gigabits per second. For connectivity, you get the Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN, Wi-Fi 7, and support for Bluetooth 5.4. And I have a motherboard right here, and as you can see, all the connectors at the back of the motherboard, including the pin headers and power connectors. And this motherboard will look great in any dual chamber chassis with a panoramic window. We're going to put this motherboard in a Corsair 3500X chassis, which is designed for BTF and Project Zero motherboards. And we'll be using an Intel Core i9-14900K, along with 32GB of DDR5-7200 RAM. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to see how this motherboard will perform. So let's not waste any time, start the PC build, and uh, before we do that, let's do a quick unboxing, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the MSI Z790 Project Zero. It uses the Intel Z790 chipset and supports all the latest Intel processors, including the 14th gen, 13th gen, and 12th gen processors. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Here we have motherboard. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Let's see what accessories they have inside. We have a driver's disc. We have a Wi-Fi 7 antenna. We have a pair of SATA cables. European Union regulatory notices, some MSI stickers, a quick installation guide, and we got the M2 locker screw mounts for your M.2 SSDs. And here we have the motherboard, the MSI Z790 Project Zero. It's a very nice motherboard. You've got some nice silver heat sinks along the uh, I.O. hood and the VRM MOSFETs. And here we have a nice heat shield to cover the uh, pinouts on the reverse connectors there. Here we have the socket LG1700 for all your latest Intel 14th gen, 13th gen and 12th gen processors. And I like the uh, heat sink that covers the uh, exposed pinouts for the reverse connectors along here as well. And here we have the DDR5 memory slots, supporting memory speeds of up to DDR5-7200OC. For the expansion slots, you have one PCIe 5x16 slot, one PCIe 4x1 slot, and two PCIe 3x16 slot. We have four PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slots for your SSDs, one underneath this heatsink, another one here, and then two more under this heatsink as well. And the main feature, of course, with this motherboard is the reverse connectors. So let's take a look at the back of the board. And of course, we've got some uh, connectors on top of the board right here, and also along the side of the board, and of course, along the bottom of the board. We'll take a look at the top first. We have the uh, two of the eight pin PCI power connectors 
for the motherboard and an ERGB header there. We have three for the four pin fan headers here. And then we've got some more fan headers here and also a four pin ARGB. The 24 pin ATX power connectors there, USB 3, the Type E USB. We have four SATA ports for your SSD here. And on the bottom here, we have the pinouts for your onboard and reset buttons. We have two more SSDs here. We have a USB port header here, another fan header, another USB header right here, more USB 3, and we have more fan headers here, a 3-pin ARGB, 4-pin ARGB, and an audio connector there. So uh, this motherboard has all the connectors on the reverse side of the motherboard, and this is, of course, the MSI Project Zero, uh, which is not the same as the ASUS BTF or the Gigabyte uh, Project Stealth. All right, let's take a look at the I.O. And uh, we'll start off on this side. We have the flash BIOS button here, a PS2 keyboard and mouse, interesting. We have two USB 2 ports, and one of them is for the flash BIOS. And here we have a display port, HDMI, two more USBs, and this is the USB 3.2, there's two in there, the 2.5 gigabit LAN, a USB 3.2 Gen 2, and the USB 3.2 Gen 2 2x2 Type-C. And here we have the connectors for your Wi-Fi 7 antennas. And we have an array of audio connectors including line-in, line-out, mic-in, SPDIF as well. All right. I really like the overall aesthetics of the motherboard. It's very clean and of course it has all the connectors on the reverse side of the motherboard and you can hide all your cables on the reverse side. All right, we'll be testing this motherboard using an Intel Core i9 1400K processor along with the 32 gigabytes of DDR5 7200 RAM. We'll also be using a GeForce RTX 4080 Super to really see how this motherboard Will look and fit inside the case. We'll be using the Corsair 3500X which is uh, compatible with the ASUS BTF as well as the uh, MSI Project Zero. So let's start our PC build and see how it all goes. So this was a quick unboxing on the MSI Z790 Project Zero motherboard. This is our first experience with a motherboard that has power connectors and pin headers on the reverse side of the motherboard and I'm glad to say it's been a pleasurable experience and I really enjoy building such a system. Now do I see a trend in reverse connection motherboards? Yes, maybe, it's still early to say. Although they have been showcased in last year's Computex 2023, we're only starting to see them on the shelves this year. But what's even more confusing is that ASUS has its own version called the BTF, while Gigabyte's own reverse connection motherboards are called the Project Stealth. Apparently, all three brands are not compatible with each other. But anyway, there's one thing to remember, is that case manufacturers need to be able to support these new reverse connection motherboards. So whichever brand you choose, make sure you get a compatible case too. During our tests, we managed to get some really good scores in all of our benchmarks. We got a Cinebench R23 score of 36,092 multi-core and 2,111 single core. For PC Mark 10, we got a score of 10,412 and a score of 17,586 for Passmark 11. For UL's latest Procyon video editing benchmark, we got a pretty good score of 55,592. For 3D Mark Nomad Steel and Speedway, we got decent scores of 6,641 and 7,468 respectively. And finally, for Port Royal and Tamspy, we got scores of 18,314 and 27,632 respectively. All in all, I'm quite pleased with the overall performance of the MSI Z790 Project Zero. It pretty much falls in line with other Z790 motherboards that we've tested in the past. If you're planning to build a PC with great aesthetics, 
as well as a clean and neat looking motherboard, then the MSI Z790 Project Zero will do just the job, provided that you have a compatible case. The motherboard comes with plenty of features and offers decent performance as expected from a Z790 chipset. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the MSI Z790 Project Zero motherboard. It's a fantastic motherboard that offers great aesthetics, especially when you have all the power connectors on the reverse side of the motherboard. But of course, you need to make sure that you have a compatible chassis to go with this motherboard. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like and leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this by the links in the description. And of course, visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FuckIt.com.